Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to place multiple objects around a circle using Inkscape. Here we are inside of Inkscape. Yes, that's the solar system for all you science nerds out there. Your favorite planet Uranus is here, don't worry about it. Your second favorite planet, Pluto, is likely not a planet. I don't know, it seems like things are still up in the air there. Until they figure that out, I'm leaving Pluto off the list. I don't want any part of the drama, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place these eight different items along this circle here. Very simple to do. First, you need your Align and Distribute dialog opened up. You can use this little icon right here, or you can use the shortcut key, Shift Control A. Once you have this opened up, just navigate over here to the third tab labeled circular. This is going to be your best friend for this little tip. So I have all these items grouped, so the text and the little sphere that corresponds to each planet are a group. What you wanna do first is you want to select all of the items you want to place around the circle, and the order that you select these items does matter, so we're gonna select these in the order of the planets. I know you guys all have that memorized. So we're gonna go Mercury, hold the Shift key, and click on Venus, Earth, Mars, third rock from the sun, that's us. Then you're going to go over here and whatever you want next, obviously, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and so now we have everything selected in order. Lastly, what we need to do is we need to select the circle that we wanna place these on. So I've already got a circle drawn here. This is just a circle with a stroke. Shift click to select that circle. And then making sure we're on the circular tab here of the align and distribute dialog. You've got a couple of options. You can anchor these objects based on their bounding boxes. So that's gonna be the box surrounding each object. That's not gonna be super useful in this case because each one is a different size and we want them all placed at the same point along the circle. But there may be cases where you want that so you can place this based on the bounding box and then you can choose the actual anchor point. So if you wanna place everything based on the upper left corner of the bounding box, you can click this little upper left corner here and it will align everything on the circle based on that. But in this case, we're gonna place the objects based on their rotational centers. So that just means it's gonna take the center of the object. So in this case, we have multiple objects inside of individual groups. So it's gonna take the center of the group and it's gonna place the objects on the circle based on the center. That's what we want in this case. You also have a range on the first selected circle ellipse or arc or the last selected circle ellipse or arc. Because we selected the circle we wanna place everything on last, we selected that last, that is going to be the setting that we select here. You can also use the parameterized feature. If you wanna arrange based on this parameterized option, you have to kinda of know what you're doing, so we're gonna skip that. And then if you wanna rotate the objects once you place them on the circle, you can have that option selected as well. I'll show you what that does in a second. But now let's come over here and click Arrange. And so that's going to arrange the planets here in the order that we clicked on them. So you can see Mercury is first, and then it goes Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and so on. So that's one rendition of this feature, but what if you wanna place these differently along the circle? So Mercury is over here to the right, and then it goes clockwise. What if you want it to go counterclockwise and you want Mercury off to the left here? Let's hit Control Z to undo that. What you can do is deselect everything, click on the circle, and then if you come up top here, you're gonna see this little flip icon, so Object Flip Horizontal. We'll click that option. And once again, let's click on the planets and then Shift Click, and make sure we click on these in the order we wanna place them on the circle. Shift Click on the circle last, and once again, we will click Arrange. And now you can see we have Mercury first, and then we're going counterclockwise, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. But what if we want Mercury first on the left side and we want this going clockwise? Let's hit Control Z to back up. Now what we can do once we click off everything is click on the circle and come over here and click Object Flip Vertical. And then we'll do the same thing here. We'll just select all the planets in order. Shift click to select the circle last and click arrange. So now Mercury's on the left and we're going clockwise. 
So let's hit Control Z once again. Let me just show you some other ways that this can go down. So we'll click off of everything. If we click on everything in a random order, we're gonna see what happens. So let's go Earth first, and then just randomly click on everything else. Shift click on the circle and click Arrange. Now everything is gonna be randomly ordered based on the order we selected them with our mouse. So Earth was first, then we went Mars, and then here's everything else in the order we selected them. So Control Z to back up. Something else I wanna show you, let me select these in order this time. Shift click to select the circle. If you check the rotate objects option and then click arrange, it will arrange these around the circle, but it's going to rotate them so that basically the uh, object is going to be tangential, I guess, to the actual circle itself. So you can see that demonstrated with the text here where the text is just forming a tangent line uh, that touches on the circle here and it just rotates as you rotate around the circle. Uh, by the way, I did mention it, but the yellow one here, the big yellow one is the sun. Let's see what this looks like when we select objects bounding boxes with the top left corner there selected. Shift click on the circle. So objects bounding boxes, click arrange. And in this case, it looks a little funny, uh, but it has aligned everything based on the top left corner there. So that adds a kind of funny little spin to things. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.